Hi there, and welcome to my review of my Patagonia foot tractors. So, the pros for the foot tractors. Traction. That's the whole reason I bought them. The traction of the aluminum bar system is excellent. This is the third set of bars for me on these boots. But, um, so yeah, they were, you know, they always have had great, great traction. Those bars just grip the rocks. Um, and yeah, it just, I've been really, really happy with the traction. And like I say, it was the reason I bought them. The uh, gravel guard ring location. That's something I'm really, I really like about these boots is the location of the ring for the gravel guard. Uh, it's quite a bit higher up on the boot. Most other boots uh, that I've owned, they have it down here near the toes. Uh, and I find you really have to stretch the gravel guards quite a bit, and that reduces the flexibility. Your waders are tighter, uh, and you don't get that same range of motion out of it. I do really like the location of those um, wader, or the gravel guard rings, or wader rings, whatever you call them. Uh, and I know this is a, it's a silly one, but it's a pro. Um, the laces. These are still the original laces that came with the boots. And I got a lot of miles and a lot of trips on these boots. And there's only a few little frays in these laces. Cons. Well, the uh, first con I'll talk about is price. These are not a cheap boot. Um, and so if you're wanting a pair of these, you're, you're going to shell out for them. Second con, and it was part of the reason I had started thinking about replacing them, is mass. These things are heavy. The, that's the downside to the traction of the gravel bars is these bars are great for traction but they add a lot of weight to the system and so as a result um, after a long day I would find I would start to cramp up um, uh, my lower legs would start to cramp up simply from the act of having to continually repeatedly pick them up put them down um, it just uh, yeah, they were just really, really, like even just holding them here at arm's length, uh, your arm gets tired. They're a very, very heavy boot. Uh, not all of that, of course, is the bars. Some of it is just the construction of the boot, which I thought, okay, they're a heavy boot. That's going to mean they're going to last a long time. But unfortunately, that is the last con. Durability. These are not very durable. Uh, and I don't just mean the gravel guards. I mean, those are no different than replacing studs in, in a, another type of boot, but um, it's expensive to replace the bars. Um, it's a pain in the neck to replace the bars. These bars aren't that old, and you can already see that the screw heads in them are almost gone. It's really hard to get those out um, when the time comes to replace them. Um, but here's the big thing. Same trip, both boots. This one not as bad, but the heel is separating, the grip is separating from the base of the boot. Same with this one. This is the one I noticed it was happening on because obviously it's a heck of a lot worse. And uh, it was just about to crap out and fall off on me uh, coming back on a long hike uh, from being out in the water. That's why they're not clean. They completely broke and I haven't used them since. I never even bothered to clean them up after the last trip because I knew they were done. Um, at this point, I don't know, like, I could probably get some of that, you know, industrial adhesive, you know, like you use in construction maybe, and, and glue those back on. Um, but I've replaced them with something better that's much lighter and much more comfortable. Um, it maybe doesn't have quite as good attraction, but they're studded boots. They're Orvis boots, I'll tell you. Um, but yeah, they're, um, they're, I find, a, a better boot for long days. And now that I'm guiding... There are longer days, uh, and when I go out on my own, it's always a long day. So, yeah, these, you know, after a 15-kilometer day, your feet are just worn out, your legs are worn out, they're just too heavy. But bottom line is, I guess I expect more than five years out of a pair of boots that cost me, uh, you know, between $350 and $400. I just feel like I, I should have got more out of them, and I didn't, so I was a bit disappointed with the durability. So, that's my review of the Patagonia Foot Tractor. Um, if you got questions or comments, leave a like, subscribe, um, comments, I read and answer them all. Tight lines, everybody.